We love it. What's happening guys, it's Ryan from Our Days Electrical. Welcome back to the channel. We've got Casper over here vaping away. Shout hello. out Casper, say hello, hello. So as you can probably tell from the title, we went ahead and bought the cheapest tools from Amazon. So we'll dive in in a sec. We'll take a look at what we've actually purchased. We'll run through and how they perform today. Do they hold up? Does it matter using cheap tools? Are the cutters super sharp? Are the pliers worth having? Are they sharp? Do they bend cable? So yeah, we'll run through all that. We'll do a few tests, see how we get on. And basically, can we pick up a decent set of screwdrivers, pliers, cutters from Amazon that doesn't cost an absolute fortune? So first up, the screwdriver set. Right now, these were seven pounds and 35 pence. Uh, these are the six screwdriver set from Manisman. Never heard of them. Have you heard of them, Casper? No, nope, never heard of them. So we get the six screwdrivers. We get the rubbish voltage tester, which we will sling off and chuck it in the bin because you never ever use them. They seem very, very cheap. We'll take a closer look in a second. Seven pounds and 35 pence these were. That's more than I pay Casper a day, that is. Next up, we have the Harden combination pliers. Now these were 10 pounds 99. We could have gone a lot cheaper, but then they wouldn't have been VDE. So yeah, these are the cheapest VDE combination pliers you can pick up. What does it say? A seven inch insulated combination plier, chrome vanadium steel, heavy two color insulated handle. So yeah, rated to a thousand volts. Huge, massive finger guards on these. We'll open them up, take a closer look at these. See if there's any play in the combination pliers. See if there's a, usually a, a little gap in the top when you close the combination pliers with the cheaper versions. We'll see if they've got that. And yeah, we'll jump onto the cutters now. Right, the side cutters. These are probably my favorite of the bunch. These are the Amazon Basics side cutters. Again, huge finger guards. They are rated to a thousand volts apparently. So what size are these? 106, 120 mil? 160 mil, there we go, I was correct. 160 mil Amazon basic side cutters. Let's see how sharp they are. See what they can cut through, two five, one five. See if they can cut through a bit of six mil, 10 mil earth. Let's have a go on, on it all, let's see how they do. But these were seven pounds and 18 pence. Like I said before, could have gone cheaper if we didn't go VDE, but that defeats the object with electricians. We always want to try and use insulated tools, prep, or especially I do anyway. But yeah, we'll take a look. They do look rather cheap. But yeah, we'll see how they go. We'll test them out today. And yeah, we'll uh, actually get cracking and do a bit of work. Sorry about the noise. Okay, say hello, Casper. Hello. So as I said before, we're going to go around and get some second fixing done at this Property, this is the TikTok house rewire. If you, any of you have seen my previous videos, the link should be up here or up here. I can never remember which way to point. Uh, go and check them out. Yeah, we've got the screwdrivers in hand. How do you feel about them, mate? They look like a kid's toy set. This is, that's, that, that was your first impression, wasn't it? It was a kid's toy set. They're not great in the hand, to be honest. The ergonomics don't feel great. The insulation is cut really badly. You would have seen from the previous outtake video that, yeah, they're really cut really badly. But first impressions aren't that great, but obviously time will tell. I would love to know how long, how these tips hold up. That would be an interesting one. The pliers have got a huge gaping gap in them. Um, yeah, so we'll see how they go. Got our first socket, first real test for the side cutters. This is how we strip here. Don't hate. We'll grab the CPC. Strip these back nicely. But um, 
Yeah, they definitely cut. So that's a bonus. They cut with a good amount of ease as well, which is which is good. So they definitely seem sharp. Yeah, see how they work on the single cores. So yeah, so far, so good. And these were seven pounds, 35 Amazon basics range, which I didn't even know they did a range of uh, tools, to be honest. These are the only ones I could find that were Amazon basics. I wanted to try and get them all Amazon basics, but the cheaper combination pliers were the, um, were the hardened ones, so um, which I'd never heard of. I've never heard of any of these brands, by the way, and I thought I was pretty in the know when it came to um, came to tools, but obviously not. Okay, so we've got the pliers now because we are going to double over the CPCs. So I'd like to split the earths on this, so I will double them over. So this will be a good chance now to see how these pliers perform because there is a massive gap in these, but yep. Do their job, I just can't get over that massive gap. And yeah, we'll jump on second fix in this now with the old screwdrivers. Like I said before, first impressions aren't great. They are super, super light. Compared to the other screwdrivers I've got, they've all got a bit of bulk to them, and obviously the handles are quite large as well, whereas I've got really nothing to hold on to here. Squared off, yeah, not great, not great. But we'll see if they perform. This is a four mil terminal. Yeah, four mil, flat headed screwdriver. Perfect for sockets. I'm really gonna crank down, down on these. I wanna see how well these tips actually perform. Because, yeah, so far, they don't feel great at all. So we'll get, these in. Mm, you always sometimes with cheap screwdrivers, after a while, the center bit will sort of bend where you've been twisting it so much. So we'll see how we get on with that. But after one terminal, it seems all right. So can't ask for any more than that. I'm really cranking down on these as well. Yep, seem good. They seem good so far. Didn't like the sound of that. You can already see a little bit of damage to the black colouring on the screwdrivers and that's only after doing up three terminals. So we've got young Casper in here, second fixing. What are we thinking, mate? Oh, pliers, uh, snippers aren't too bad. Yeah, they're right, aren't they? Not so bad. They hold up well with a bit of 2.5. I'm going to try them with the 6mm. Try the Phillips as well, it would be good. So yeah, Phillips is going to be a good one to test out. It's probably the second most commonly used screwdriver, along with the 4mm. I'll also be interested to see how the back of these holds up, because we're not an electrician without smashing the life out of the screwdriver, or the back of the screwdriver, with a hammer. So we'll give that a go as well and see how that works. I can't see, these seem quite brittle. They're really hard. Yeah, it's not probably the best thing to do, <laughs> in all honesty. But they seem quite brittle. So I don't know whether one whack at a hammer and it might just blow into uh, smithereens. So we've got the posi, the PH2, we've got a few screws. I'm just gonna drive them into this wood and see how, see how they hold up. I've driven the screws in with the posi. I don't know if you can tell, for me to get some leverage, I need to sort of push on this square part here and twist. But with this screwdriver, look at that edge there. 
that edge is really sharp so that's just rubbing on my hands and the fact that these are square they don't quite sit very well so while I'm screwing I can feel all this digging into my hands just trying to get that bit of leverage so ergonomically wise they're not great and look Madden is already rubbing off look Hmm, not good, not good. How are you doing, Casper? Shway, he says. Woo, he's got the sockets on. What are we saying, mate? You are chief tester today. Uh -huh. What are we saying? Slips are pretty good. Plugs are okay. Screwdrivers are awful. <laughs> aren't they? Oh my god. They're bad, aren't they? They've got like toys. Yeah, they're not great. Well, I'm going to give them a little bash as well, like the back of the. With us electricians, we use screwdrivers as chisels. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we'll give them a little bash and see where they hold up. We're definitely going to wash them. But, um, yeah, I like these. They're probably the best so far. I just don't like that massive finger guard. <laughs> they just look so ugly, don't they? Harden. Amazon Basics. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, they're, they're, they do a job, though, don't they, mate? Yeah. They do a job, <laughs> he says, oh, <laughs> you're not impressed, are you? Not impressed. He's too used to using all the yeah, Nipex yeah. and Boddingtons and stuff like that. But unfortunately, guys, some people can't yeah, afford that. Great. So to go down this route, they will do a job. Yeah, yeah of course they will. It's just whether how long lasting they are is, is the yeah. main question, isn't it? That's, that's the big thing. These... Fair enough, but the screwdrivers, I think they are a bit overkill. Yeah, you can pick up, you can pay a little bit more and pick up much better. Yeah, something that I want really You can pick up much better. You pay, if you pay 12 quid for a set of screwdrivers, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a lot better screwdrivers than the seven pound 38 or whatever they were, <laughs> Manmason ones. So for some reason, the muck spreaders have got a bit of muck in my back box. Go figure. Um, it seems to be normal for muck spreaders. So we're gonna use our screwdrivers, as all electricians do, and use it as a chisel. So we're gonna give this a little whirl, and I wanna know, there's quite a bit of muck in the back of this. I just wanna know if these will hold up. Look at the state of this box, so. Eh? Just give it a whack. Oh, look at that, look, look at that chunk there. So far, so good. I'm not giving this a good old, well, let's go, let's, let's actually hit it. Let's actually hit it. We're holding up all right so far, Casper. We're holding up all right. Stay at this back box, so. I did cover these, but for some reason, by the time I've covered it, and the muck spreaders have been in and painted, it's not been covered. Do you know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not really any damage on the tip, which is good. This is the six mil, isn't it? 5.5 mil. A little bit of it damage on the insulation, but that's expected. Nearly chucks on the floor, but they do hold up a lot better than I thought they would. Right, so we've got ourselves a beefy bit of six mil. I want to see how well these look. Oh, mate, look. Look at the damage on here already. What are you doing to the finish of my cutters? Sorry. They were nice and shiny two hours ago. Right, so we'll cut into it. Strip it how we normally would. So we'll cut, grab the four mil CPC. I can't get used to these things. Give them a strip. Give them a little strip. See how they cut. Or oh, see how they cut. Do you reckon we can do it? Okay. Reckon we can do it? Let's see. Hey. hey, a bit of false. But again, look at the... Can you see that Casper on there? Yeah. That black finish is wearing away pretty quickly. Let's get our uh, hardened pliers. Bash. 
Oh, everyone's gonna go, you're twisting your cables. <laughs> you're twisting your cables. Let's give them a little twist. Double it over. I think so far, these have been my faves. Double her over. Does the job, the old hardens. Chrome vanadium. <laughs> vanadium they are. Chrome vanadium. Harden. Oh, I'll tell you what though, the cutters on these. Need a bit of welly. Oh look, I've cut that twice. That's two cuts. The first two cuts I've done with the cutters, the, the pliers, sorry. Ready, again. These were a, what, 10.99 these? Again, I keep saying it, they do the job. Don't they, mate? They do the job, and at the end of the day, that's the only reason why we're buying them, is to do a job. And they do it. And you can't argue with that. Yes, they might not look the best. Yes, they might not feel the best, but they do the job. I've got the four mil screwdriver here. As you can see, it's well used today already. The writing's starting to come off on both sides. I just want to see how strong these tips are and if I can break them with, the, with these combination pliers. So we'll give them a little snip. Do you know what? <laughs> it's going to ping back in your face. That is pretty strong. So, the Manmason screwdrivers. The handles are terrible. They've taken a bit of a bash in. We've bashed a big six mil about, give it a good tap on the back of it. Second fixing all day with the four mil. The Phillips as well held up really well. It's just these handles. These handles are shocking. Obviously showed you the little bit, the little nick on these handles. Every time you turn rubs, they are not great at all. The tips hold up really well. And for £7.36, you could probably get a lot better for your money. Well, not for your money. If you paid a little bit more, you can get so much better. These are a big for me. we we'll move on to the Harden combination pliers. You can tell the damage on these already. The fact that the middle doesn't meet as well is a big no-no from me. I don't like the huge guards on these either. They are smooth, I'll give them that. These were £10.99. Again, they weren't the cheapest, but they were definitely the cheapest VDE combination pliers that I could get. If you're at a push, they will definitely do a job. And that's what we all want at the end of the day. Oh, 10.99. Pick them up if you really want to, but again, paying that little bit more, you can pick up better for your money. And then finally, the Amazon basic side cutters. Yeah, they have taken a bit of a bashing today. They did their job. They did their job well. They cut, they stripped. What more do you want from a pair of side cutters? Again, I can't, I can't fault them. So for the full seven piece set of the screwdrivers, cutters and combination pliers, we paid a little over 25 pound for the lot. I wouldn't recommend getting the screwdrivers. That, they're a big no-no. But if you're at a push, the side cutters, combination pliers, and if you're looking on Amazon, especially for next day delivery, I ordered these on the Sunday night. No, I ordered these on the Monday morning and they came Monday evening. So that's not bad. If you're at a push and you need some VDE tools, why not? So yeah, side cutters, combination pliers are good. Screwdrivers, <laughs> bin them off. And I think guys, I think that's it for the video. So remember to put the bell on, like, subscribe, all that rubbish, and we will catch you on the next video.